so I'm on a site called Field Days and the opening when you first go on the site looks like this. It's always snowing somewhere and then it says it's always snowing here. And you can search for flights by doing this. Sorry if the audio is bad. And you can catch flakes that are falling. And so these are some of the flakes I made. And you can see there's responses. This is a flake I made. So I'm gonna make a tutorial on how you can make some snowflakes. Wow, I've made 95 snowflakes already. That's a lot of snowflakes. You can see them falling, falling, falling. The cool thing about snow days is you can actually make your snowflake animated. Um, but let's start with something simple. Let's start with just a one cut snowflake, which is basically what it sounds like. It's a snowflake that you only make one cut to make the snowflake. So I'm just going to kind of scribble. And I'm using Polygon Bow, which enables you to do straight lines. And then to finish the line, you just double click. And it makes a snowflake, it made a snowflake like that. And if you don't like it, you can reset it and you can try again and just scribble around until you find the shape that you like. And then when you find a shape you like, you click done. And then you type in your name. And I always put my location as randomness because that's a good location. Yeah. And then you add it. And then it asks you if you want to send your flight to anyone. I'm going to say new things. And then it wants you to buy a shirt with your flake on, which you can just ignore that. And then you wait and it gives you an arrow pointing to it saying yours and then you can enlarge it all the way like this if you move your cursor over this X thing in the corner or if you move your cursor over the plus thing I'm sorry this is plus and now I'm gonna teach you a, a really simple technique using polygon mode it takes a long time to do, but it's not that difficult to understand. I call it the shimmer flake because it looks shimmery to me, so. And then basically the way this this flake works is you just choose the direction you want to go. And I'm going horizontal this time, but you can go vertical, you can go diagonal, and you just make lines with polygon that are really close together and you just go up and down the entire flake making lines in the same direction and it looks something like that I don't know if you can see it anymore But like I said, the cool thing about snow days is that not only can you make um, one cut snowflakes, but you can make animated snowflakes. So now let's make a star, an animated star, that is. I'm going to cut out most of this flake with just the triangle, so it's in the shape of a star. Then, I'm going to do something really cool. 
this and cut like this. And it makes twice as many points on the star. And then you can make it how to do that. That again, and that again, and then I just keep adding triangles. And then it just looks like a star and it's bursting out from the center. So I'm going to call this a burst. And to see the full animation, you can just click it and it will play. Bursting star. Now, I'm going to teach you how to make a negative snowflake. Because negative snowflakes are really cool. Go all the way around the triangle click and where did the snowflake go? And you don't have to have it on polygon mode all the time so I'm going to do this snowflake without polygon mode and then I just draw random circles. Magically adding pieces to the snowflake. These are not circles, these are just random shapes, but you get them. La. And then this undo button is very helpful if you do stuff like that. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I like that. It just fills in and then randomly it decides to change. That's a, the other thing about animations is you want to try and make them look smooth. There's not necessarily an order to what I did, but it looks smooth. And for the last snowflake, I want to try something different that I've never tried before, so it might turn out really, really bad. I'm going to combine my one kind of shimmery flake with Mr. X's Nova flake. I'm going to go vertical up and down this time for my shimmer flake. Just go up and down and up and down and up and down. And so it looks like that. It has leaves, apparently. And now, I'm going to try making this into a Nova, which may or may not work. Okay. That looks Pretty epic. I hope
hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to check out Snow Days and if you make some snowflakes then put the snowflake number down in the comments so I can see them. And be sure to check out Mr. X's awesome snowflake tutorials and while you're at it why don't you just subscribe to me, okay? Bye! -bye.